Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and it is, holy cow, January 2020. It's my first week back uh, kind of doing a video in 2020. I've been back to work from pretty much right after the holidays and such, but uh, trying to get up to speed here and I figured I'd do a video for you guys and I have not done a shop update video for a while, so I figured, you know what, let's kick off 2020 with a shop update video and show you guys what we're working on, what's in store for 2020, holy cow. Like 2020, God, it sounds like it's futuristic. Uh, it's just, it's just a crazy, crazy number. So, but what do we got going on here? And oh, and remember, this is uh, Scottsdale week in Arizona. All the big auctions are kicking off this week, so you can check that out uh, on their websites, from Barrett Jackson to Gooding and Company, RM, um, Russo and Steel. All those big guys, they are kicking off their year. 2020 with the auctions and there are a few vws crossing the block definitely check out today if you can thursday uh, a couple of uh bugs that came through our shop are crossing the barrett block but so what do we got going on here we got a 36 horsepower motor this is landon's 1958 uh motor this is a uh, engine rather this is a 36 horsepower his car is out at the body shop so we're doing that car and that's a family car they've owned that since 58 what you see here is a 1956 chassis that we're going to start blasting, doing new floor pans, mechanicals, you know, all that good stuff. And that's going to go for this car here. This is Joe's car. It's a 56 oval window, strato silver, uh, bullet front turn signal beetle. Beautiful paint job on that, and we are tackling that sucker. So, as you can see, the body is down on. Uh, we got it on some dollies, some little dollies. These little dollies are pretty cool. You could probably pick them up online or build your own. And uh, if you are doing a backyard job or in your home garage, uh, these are great dollies to put your shell on. And we just have some 4x4s here to prop it up. This is a great little uh, option for you there. And you can move the car side to side and uh, wherever you need to go. If it's in your small garage or a big garage, whatever you have at home. Uh, pretty pretty cool there and then what we have over here of course is Lori's 62 turquoise we are almost done with this car we are actually been driving it breaking it in the car is uh, wonderful driving uh, 40 horsepower mobile and uh, it's just uh, coming out really nice I mean turquoise is actually growing on me guys I I couldn't be happier with this car and uh, this car is going back out to California so we're just in the break-in stage and uh, she opted for a very standard um, you know uh, original style look of what turquoise would have been we are changing the wheels so she did opt this car did come with wheels these chromies that you see here and uh, she has opted to go for smoothies and on the smoothies what we're going to do is here's a little bit easier to see on the smoothies, what we're going to do is original, like what they would have had for a turquoise. The center uh, hub area here would be that sea green. So it's a darker, almost a hunter green maybe. It's got a little blue in it. And then the outer portion of the rim here will be that turquoise white. So uh, there are numbers online. Uh, Wolfsburg West's uh, color charts are fabulous. If you guys are looking to uh, find the right color codes for your car, uh, Wolfsburg West, if you go to their color charts uh, and they have it broken down by year, you can see what colors were offered for your car and they give you the options of uh, wheel color, shifter color, uh, e-brake color, things like this. They'll, they'll give you the codes and the numbers uh, and the colors for each of these uh, elements. So if you are going back to a bone stock appearance, that is a great resource for you. So uh, I'll let you know how those come out. I'm hopefully getting those back uh, next week. And uh, we're going to be mounting just the radial tires that you see there on those smoothie rims. So let's continue to look at Lori's car. 62. 62 is a cool year, guys. This is when, like, things were really starting to come together for Volkswagen. 62, 63 Beetles are really iconic looking Beetle years. Uh, you know, the, the look and feel of the of the cars are really show the iconic and the, the historical look of the beetle um and and these two years i mean you can't go wrong 
with finding parts. Uh, everything's pretty much readily available. Uh, 6061, uh, a couple things are a little tricky to get. Uh, steering column stuff is different, but you know you can always uh, change that on your earlier Beetle to go 62, 63 style steering column. The, switch, the turn switch um, was a little different on the earlier years. So, but uh, but here's her car, and uh, you know the TMI interior, and um, yeah, you get this kit from WolfsburgWest.com. Again, they have the correct kit, and what's nice about Wolfsburg West is that they keep this stuff in stock. So you don't have to wait uh, four weeks, six weeks to get these interiors. Uh, they are ready to go, which is really nice. So we're still working on the radio, but we've been driving her and she did opt for a parcel shelf. And then here's her headliner that you see here. Came up pretty nice. Yep. Pretty cool car, guys. Uh, I'm definitely digging the turquoise. It's growing on me. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy it even more when I see the uh, the rims all done. Oops, look at that. Nice and tight. Okay. So once these rims got to have that nice darker green on them, I think it's going to look really cool. And then here's the engine compartment. Really cool. She's got California black plates. Really nice. And there's the original 40 horsepower engine that we rebuilt. Bone stock. Uh, we just did change the distributor, the fat cap distributor that we had, uh, we're still working on. I uh, just didn't want to advance uh, too well, so we're working on that, but we did get a Coltec, which I do like these. Um, they remind me of the O10 Boss distributors. Pretty cool looking, keeps the engine compartment a little bit cleaner. I like a leaner look in the uh, engine compartment, uh, just to keep things simple looking, and uh, yeah, she runs awesome. I just love the look of the Strato Silver. Everybody who comes in here sees the strato and if you guys uh, need a paint code for this i have it again the paint codes on wolfsburg west are the original paint codes now the problem with the paint codes and i've done videos on this before um is that you know if you give that old code to your body shop many body shops might not be able to get uh the mixture correct or even the mixture at all so then i usually do a google search and just put in the paint code the old paint coat and put in PPG in the search as well and what will happen is uh, paintref.com will come up with the uh, modern day equivalent code and it's a longer number but um, give that code to your painter and have him spray out on a swatch to see how it looks so if you remember this car this is that 55 three-fold ragtop that we uh, got out of Virginia. And this was a California car, and it was really rock solid. It's a numbers matching car. This car is also originally Strato Silver, like you see here. Now, this is a late 55. I think I spoke about this once before. Late 55, three fold, still has the Batwing steering wheel, still has the rib doors, like you see on the, uh, on the, the driver and passenger doors are ribbed very small time where you had the ribs the bat wing wheel the bullet front turn signals which was late 55 for Volkswagen uh, so I have a client that signed on to this car David and he's out of South Dakota very cool he signed on to this and we're also doing a 57 oval for him as well so uh, pretty pretty cool that we're doing uh, this car, uh, it's just an exception. I love these 55 and earlier cars. It's just, uh, they're rare ones, guys. I mean, and if you can find them with the original roof, the original sunroof, it's just, uh, they're gold. I mean, if this would have had semaphores, it would have been even cooler. But um, I, I like this, this time period. This is a very short time where they had these rib doors and the bullets. And it was only really America-bound uh, Beetles that had that. Um, they still would have kept the semaphores in Europe, I think, up until 60 so uh interesting interesting stuff and pretty rock solid i gotta say the only thing that we noticed so far is just this this wicked dent on the roof as you can see here but i spoke to my body shop and he said that's not a problem uh, and there is a small hole uh, of course under the battery box which is very common but we'll decide after we uh do some media blasting to see if we're going to change the pans fully or just repair that spot but um, nice find, definitely a nice find. Rare one, numbers matching, can't beat it. 
Now here's my 1970 convertible Beetle. And what am I gonna tell you now? Holy cow, it's 50 years old. It's so weird to say that 1970 Beetle is 50. Crazy, crazy. Um, I remember just a bunch of years ago having a 57 oval Beetle and I was saying, wow, it's 50 years old. And now this is 50 years old, a 70 Beetle. So I plan on doing a video all about 1970 Beetle uh, and the characteristics of a 70 and the, the changes that were made. Uh, it's a really cool year. Uh, I love the, six, the 1600 single port motor, which was only offered uh, this year in America. Uh, in other countries, I believe the 1600 single port might have lasted a little bit longer. Um, but just a really cool car, and uh, I love the 70. It really, I can get in this car, not be afraid to drive it anywhere. It gets up on the highway. It's got good giddy up, and uh, it does turn heads. I did, I did paint it a striking color. Um, figure Clementine Orange that was offered in 1970, but kind of on a little bit better look to it. I threw like a metallic in it, and I put low back seats in it. But I'm going to go over uh, in a separate video. 1970 Beetle and the characteristics, the changes uh, that came about with that year bug. So uh, I love it. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout, guys. I think this Saturday I'm going to do my first video for my RC, my new RC channel. Uh, I just picked up this sucker. Oh my God. One fifth scale Creighton. This sucker will eat up the turf man just <laughs> i love it it's unbelievable be on the lookout it's going to be called valone's rc hobby and uh, i use a similar badge that i use for my vintage volkswagen beetles so be on the lookout for that if you're interested i'll have a link in the descriptions and future videos and such but this is what's going on guys january 2020 kicking the year off i can't believe it's 2020 oh and next week i'll be heading down to uh, florida once again i'm doing some business down there uh, i got some uh, meetings lined up to meet with some people uh, location scouting again kind of uh, to hopefully move my business but uh, i'm also heading to the volks blast in miami so I will be down there on, uh, what day is that? I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's, I'm going to pull out my calendar. I think it's the 20, the 26th. I think the 26th is a Sunday. So I'll be down at the Volks Blast in Miami. Uh, not this Sunday coming, but the following Sunday. Uh, so it'll be good to get out of New York. Get out of this gray, dreary, cold weather that they have going on here. But you know what? I've got to be honest. January has been pretty good here. Uh, this year, it's been pretty warm. We've had some mild days, some 65 days, almost 70, 70 degrees. So, but uh, it would be nice to uh, to get out of here and go see some blue water and some some bikinis and you know all that good stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, Chris from ClassicVWBugs.com. January 2020, kicking the year off. This is what's going on busy as usual and of course I got oh I got projects out back waiting I got these four I got this one over here so got a lot to do and uh, hope you guys keep following please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell uh, and uh, if you can for the price of a cup of coffee you can send us a small uh, PayPal donation and this helps keep this content going, keeps the vintage VW scene alive here in New York with classic VW Bugs. And uh, I am proud and honored to keep serving you guys. And anytime you guys have questions or comments, please leave them uh, below. Uh, I try to get back to everybody, guys. I get a ton of emails. And, uh, you know, it's just we live in a social world today. And I get a ton of emails from Facebook, from Twitter, from Instagram, from YouTube, through my website. And it's just a complete... Uh, bombardment sometimes so I can't get back to everybody so I do apologize for that I hope you guys really do understand um, you know it's uh, it's a global thing and communicating with people around the world is uh, it's it's invigorating it's amazing to hear from people from different parts of the world but uh, if I don't get back to you in a timely manner I do apologize uh, I'm kind of a one-man guy here dealing with all the tech and such so all right guys have a great day I will see you next time uh -huh.